Trent is in Kenwick, Washington. Hi, Trent. How are you? Good. How are you, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up? Hey, Dave. So I own a lawn care business. Uh, in 2021, we did a uh, half a million in revenue. And then last year we did right around a million. Wow. And my question is. Why don't you just double uh, it in a year, dude? Oh, God. Well. It's, Touchdown. It's, it's, it's leading to the next question is. You're tired. Uh, <laughs> well, we're just, I'm trying to figure out which way to navigate it. Wow. Uh, you know, if maybe we should hire the uh, office employee to do like the, you know, answering calls and an invoicing stuff like that. Or if maybe we should, you know, hire like one of our foremen to become like a field manager to help with the, with the day-to-day tasks. Hmm. What do you think? Because, well, I don't, I mean, I've been, I'm still, out in the field a lot, and I'm answering all the calls, sending the quotes, invoicing, and so it's just like, it's it's been a lot, and I just feel like if we want to continue this, uh, I got to make it make a decision on one or the other. I mean, as me, you know, blue collar work, I I like being out in the field, so I would rather hire an office employee to answer the phone calls, but I just I don't know what that would look like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I'm going to send you a copy of the little quick read we did on delegation that covers okay. one of the lessons I teach in Entree Leadership Elite on delegation because you're you're kind of hovering between treadmill operator and pathfinder on the first two stages of business. You're right on the bubble. Uh, I think you really okay. probably have leveled up on that, but you just got to get this delegation thing figured out. Now, one of the things I talk about in this quick read, we'll go ahead and talk about now because it's the answer to your question. Um, there's a couple of different times you want to delegate. One is an easy one. Uh, it's you don't know how to do something, and you hire somebody that knows how to do it. In my case, I've got about 400 folks in the building that do programming for the web, right, for the Internet. Right. Uh, and I, I've never written a line of code in my life. I have no idea if they're any good at it other than we get results, so they're good at it. I can't, you couldn't prove it by me, right? So I have zero expertise right. in that area. It's it's hilarious. I run a digital company, and I can't even work my phone. So, um, but that's, you know, so I'm delegating something I don't have a, a, an ability to do, okay? The second thing I've delegated um, – and it wasn't in this order, but another thing I have delegated is things I hate doing. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And I hate doing invoicing. I hate doing accounting. I want to read the accounting after it's done to see if we made a profit and where the sales are coming from. But I want to read the key metrics, but I don't want to do the accounting. Just shoot me, okay? I don't want to do it at all. People that do accounting, as far as I'm concerned, they're weird, okay? But uh, right. but 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 I got some weirdo accountants all in the building here. I've got a great CFO that he, he's just weird. He loves doing this stuff. We love Jeff. He's incredible. And we've got a great billing team that does all this stuff. Now, I read the... I read the stuff. I see the reports and see, you know, if we've billed people, have they paid? I want to see the aging reports. Uh, I read the reports on the the payables. I scan over. I'm like, well, what are we sending $8,000 to that guy for again? And I'll ask questions about it, but I don't do the payables. I don't write out the checks. I haven't in a very, very, very long time. Now, I do check to make sure it's being done, and that one I actually know how to do. I just hate it. Right. I think right. I heard you say that about your office stuff. Yeah. No, yeah, that's, yeah, I, I you know, I, I love being out in the day-to-day stuff. And I you love... like working with the customers. Oh, yeah, yeah. And making sure yeah. they're happy. And checking right. the crews and the quality. And make sure it's being Correct. done the way that, that it, that's always been done, which is how you were able to double your business, because you're freaking good at this. <laughs> well, I mean, you'll right, double your that's... business if you're horrible. Right. Yeah. I know you're good at it. I agree. It. So I'm going to have, I'm going to hire the office manager and they can answer okay. some of the calls and handle some things, but I want you still on the phone with a customer. I want your cell phone. Okay. I want her to direct those cell phone calls straight through to you in many, many cases, but she can do the invoicing, the billing, uh, do the basic, uh, get, get, you know, get a basic accounting system in place if you don't let her. So you need a, a bookkeeping person that will be your become also do some basic office skills, write a few letters, answer a few phones, and do the bookkeeping and the 
you know, actually keep the books. I want to, I want her to produce the P and L. It's not, it's not yep. rocket, it's not rocket surgery. Okay, she can do it, or he can do it, and right. um, and then I and I and I want them to do the invoicing and then follow up with you and say, hey, Miss Jones hadn't paid, and maybe she doesn't do the collections. Maybe you do. If there's a, if gotcha. some, somebody didn't pay, because this you got the relationship to do the collections on, right? Right. But if, if the new girl, Mary Jo, or whatever, our new guy, Mike, in the office, or whatever their name is, starts calling Miss Jones, and Miss Jones doesn't know who that is, you're going to piss her off. Yeah, exactly. And, and all it was is she's paid on time every year for years, but the check just didn't clear, and there was a problem, and it was an accident. And then your guy calls up acting like she's a deadbeat. You'll lose a customer. Yeah, that's very true. So yeah. you, you got to look over their shoulder and make sure the work's being done. And um, if, if they're going to do the invoicing and they're going to do the payables, you've got to look at the checking account once a month or once every two weeks with them. Go over it. You need to still sign all the checks. Yeah, for sure. I'm not yeah, asking, don't, don't let them have control of your finances at this stage. It's a good way for you to get embezzled. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Because you're out in the field running around, and they think they can get away with it. I mean, it's, it happens all the time. So you've still got them. You're still responsible to make sure the work is being done, and it's being done with quality. The work being invoicing, bookkeeping, check writing, answering the phone. You still have to make sure it's done right, just like you make sure the lawn is cut properly and the weeding is done and the blowing is done and the customer's happy there. you got to make sure the stuff's done right in the office too, but you don't physically do it anymore, and that's delegation. Gotcha. And you're delegating okay. something you don't want to do that you don't get joy from, which is one of the benefits of being the freaking boss. Mm, right. You know, doing exactly. some, not having to, I, you know, I tell our guys around here, I've been doing this 30 years. If I quit liking something, they're in trouble because I'm going to stop doing it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they're, they're real happy I'm having fun doing this show right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah. that, that you got, okay. so I think that's what you're a candidate for. And, and I don't think you put somebody in the field doing what you already like to do and are already good at. Uh, that's just my opinion from having listened to you there for a few minutes. And I think you're a stud man, double it in one year. Ding, ding, mic drop. Way to go.